Speaking about state of the polity, and uh, the, we also did look at uh, the activities of the acting president, who has been going around different states, uh, trying to talk to them and speak to different groups to ensure that, yes, they move the ship of state forward. Would you say that is turning out right, or there will be questions about if they will actually implement and when all of those things that he has promised? First of all, let me tell you that the president of Nigeria is the president of everybody. We need to respect that seat. For me, we have voted for Mr. President. It is unfortunate that Mr. President is now sick. It's unfortunate because we knew that Mr. President is 70 something year old by. We knew before we voted. And we all voted. We expected a lot of things to be done by the man. Whether we are right or wrong, that is for, for future to decide. But the point there is that he's sick somewhere. And we have his acting, acting, acting president. Who is in communication with him? Who is in communication? The they have to communicate. Because I think they are, they are working together. Now, Mr. Vice President or Mr. Acting President is now running. That's what we have seen. And I'm happy that we have an energetic vice president. So whatever we are seeing that is like positive, let us think that we have a good team that is delivering for us. Whether it is Mr. Vice President that is delivering it or the president that is in uh, uh, UK trying to recuperate, it's not, it's not relevant to me. The point is that the second man is acting well. Let's take that on one side. Now, looking at all what he's trying to do, I think it's all about being proactive and being, being the kind of person that he is. You only find a lot of governors appointing capable deputies. You know that. Why is that the case? I don't know. They have their own reason because the constitution says that they are the ones to pick. So that that So you. somewhere along the line, they always feel that okay, uh, I don't want anyone that will give me trouble. It does seem you are in tandem or you are pleased with the conduct of the acting president as I he has gone round. I am pleased. What what, in, what what impresses you the most? He's on the road. That's the way it's supposed to be. The president is not supposed to be sitting down. There are a lot of luxuries for Mr. President or Mr. Vice President, whether it's in the air. That's the luxury that we pay for. So he must be active on any topical issues. So for him to be in Niger Delta, for instance, he has doubt some tension. That look, I, I'm with you. That alone sends a lot of signal. I'm telling you. If it's everywhere, even if it, it was in a Kaduna airport, I think, yesterday, whatever it is remaining that they, should, they have to do, although some of us don't agree with the decision of that, but here we are. We have to live with it. What don't you agree with there? No, what I don't agree, <clears throat> I know that the airport they must do. The truth about it is that I know you also fly to Abuja. Anytime that plane lands, there's always a noise. I don't know whether you have noticed. I have noticed. So when they came up with the fact that the runway is bad, so that means we must do. But what I think we need to also be doing is that our public officials and uh, civil and public officials should also be accounted for their inactions. The, the inaction, is it inaction of who? The politicians or the citizens? Well, it could be the, well, the politicians are the ones that are elected to office anyway, if you are talking about governance now. Inaction of governance is about the inaction of the, of the elected and the appointee and also the civil servants or the public officials. That's what I'm saying. Look at uh, the airport that we are talking about. Don't forget that there was a time when um, they wanted to build the second runway. There was need for a second runway in, Abu, in Abuja, definitely. Because somebody should have known that at whatever time 
this particular runway will get bad. This is the point. So you don't have any airport nearby, like Nasarawa or Mina. You don't upgrade Mina, and you don't upgrade anything around Abuja. So somebody should have known. And they awarded that contract at that time. And I remember that uh, uh, there was a lot of uh, rows over the costs and all that. They reduced it. So what happened? Reducing the cost does not mean that the project will not be done. So what we are paying for now is an inaction. And we need to also evaluate what we are losing. We don't do that. Let's evaluate what we are going to lose in the next six weeks in terms of closing this airport. Yes, we have alternative, but that alternative, it can but only. If, if, a lot of people have decided not to go to Abuja. In but the next if, six if weeks. the minister says that, look, the, the notice, adequate notice was given to ensure that people have enough time to do all the necessary adjustments. No, that's for the people. I'm talking about putting a good alternative. It's always a problem in the country, so you know. That alternative not good enough. It's not good enough. We have situations, for instance, uh, where... Uh, and I will tell you the reason why I said that. Sorry. I will tell you the reason why I said that. Railway system is the best movement of people. Mm. We are concentrating only on roads and all sorts. I didn't hear them saying that the rail line is a new one. I hope it's working. I've never been there. I think it's also part of those, uh, part of the... Uh, I've not heard them saying that five, five minutes, the, a train will leave Abu, uh, Kaduna Airport and come to Abuja. I've not heard that. And we need to check so the, problem, the frequency. It, so it's a structural problem then. It's not necessarily having to close the airport, but providing other alternatives to move people faster out of any airport whatsoever. No, you can close the airport, but provide alternative. They have numbers of people that uses Abuja Airport every day. And you can then project that. Will that bus services they are providing, how will it take the number of people? At what convenience? Easily, if the rain, rail line is walking from Kaduna to Abuja, I have no problem. I think the rail line also functions, but maybe you will need to, again, uh, perhaps you want that communication to be on a consistent basis. That's it. All right. Uh, we've been talking to Colin Nadigme, who is a public affairs analyst and also a project management consultant. Thank you for coming on this morning. Thank you. But I might as well just run through this comment we've got uh, from, uh, says, this is uh, Mr. and Mrs. Olumide Akinuga, who they were talking about they traveled on the 17th of February uh, by Turkish Airlines to L.A., but they cut the long story short. He says that their visas were revoked and they were given a letter to reapply for another visa, it went on and on. So, uh, perhaps we'll bring them to you subsequently. That's the show today. Thank you all for watching. We'll be back tomorrow. I'm Chamberlain Uso. Thanks for watching. I am Gimba Umar.